So you have a Fitbit watch, it doesn't matter which one it is, but you're stuck on the screen here, it says found it, and down here it says connecting to tracker, and it's been stuck on the screen for more than a minute. We're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot this step by step. So first thing we wanna do is go ahead and close out the uh, Fitbit app completely, okay? So with the iPhones, you just wanna like scroll up halfway, and then go ahead and slide that all the way up till it's closed. Now if you have an Android phone, like this is a Samsung Galaxy um, Note 20 here, but if you have the Fitbit app open and then you want to close it, you want to look down here somewhere where the recent apps menu is with the three um, vertical lines right here. Tap on that and then you see your Fitbit app. You want to swipe up to close it completely, okay? After you close it completely, then go ahead and reopen the Fitbit app. And then we're going to go to tap on the avatar and then we're going to go back down here. It says set up a device and then choose your uh, Fitbit I'm trying to pair or connect to my Fitbit Inspire 2, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go with that one there. I'm gonna tap on setup. I have to agree to this, so tap on agree. Now it says let it charge. Now the thing is sometimes I go in and proceed through all the steps and I don't charge it. Half of the times it doesn't work, but when I do charge it, that's when I always get it back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge it, even though I have plenty of battery juice already in this. So with the Fitbit uh, Inspire 2 or the HR, you want to make sure the pin matches the pin, okay? Because you can put it on backwards too, okay? So I got it in there. I felt it vibrate. I see the uh, battery icon there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tap on Next here. And we're going to let this search. Okay, now we're on the screen here. And I'll leave you here for one minute. If no go, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so it's been about a minute, still no go. So what I want you to do now is close it out completely. With the iPhones, remember to stroll up like that and then slide up. With the Android phone, remember, tap the reset menu, the three vertical lines, tap that and swipe up on the Fitbit app. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to go and turn on and turn off or turn off your Bluetooth, turn it off, wait a few seconds, and then turn it back on. Now go back into your Fitbit app. Again, tap on your avatar there, go to set up a device, and mine's the Inspire 2. I'm going to tap on set up here, got to agree to this. It's charging already, let's tap on next, and let's see what happens here. Alright, I'll give this a minute again. Okay, so same issue, okay, so now we got to go to the next step. So the next step is what I want you to do is I want you to turn off or restart both your devices, the phone as well as the watch, okay? It doesn't matter if you turn it off or restart. So let me go ahead and turn off this phone here and then I'm gonna go ahead and power up. Go ahead and grab your watch and you can restart it or go ahead and uh, reboot it. So this Inspire 2, I'll just go into settings here and I'm gonna go ahead and restart or reboot. Again, you can, you can also turn it off and turn it back on, okay? So let me go ahead and turn this off, or it's going to restart now. Now go ahead and also turn your phone back on. Wait for both of the devices to boot back up. Okay, so both devices are back up. Let's go ahead and plug in your watch. Plug it into the charger, and then we're going to go back to the Fitbit app. And we're going to do the same thing over again. So tap on your avatar up there. Tap on set up a device. Choose your Fitbit setup. I accept, let it charge, it's charging. Click on next and we'll see what happens here. Okay, found it, checking, connecting to tracker. We'll see what happens here. Okay, great, so it's still stuck on this connecting to tracker. So next thing we're gonna do is this. Go ahead and close it completely again. Remember, if you have an Android phone, is the three vertical lines to, and swipe up on the Fitbit app. So the Fitbit app is uh, per, uh, totally closed. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put your phone in airplane mode. Okay, so we're going to put it in airplane mode. We're going to wait for three seconds. One, two, three. Then take it off airplane mode. And now we're going to go back to the Fitbit app and we're going to do the same thing over again. So click on the avatar, tap on set up a device, choose your Fitbit, set up. I agree, it's charging. Click on next. Here we are again, found it, connected to tracker. Let's see what happens here. Okay, still no go, no problem. We're gonna to go to the next step here. So the next step here is just go ahead and close your Fitbit app and then we're gonna go ahead and reopen it. And now what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna log out, reboot the phone, and then log back in, okay? So go ahead and go back to this page here and then tap on your avatar. 
And then you just want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom where it says log out. So let's tap on log out, log out. Now, I'm not going to sign in yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and restart my phone or turn it off and turn it back on. And then once we're back up, we're going to go ahead and sign in or log into the Fitbit app. Okay, so the phone is booted back up. Now let's go ahead and go back into the Fitbit app. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and log in now. So go ahead and Fitbit app, go ahead and tap on log in right there. Enter your email and password, and then go ahead and tap in log in. Okay, now go ahead and tap on the avatar again. Now we are um, signed in now. Now tap on set up a device, pick your Fitbit, tap on set up, tap on I accept. It's already charging. Let's go ahead and click on next here. Found it, connected the tracker. Now let's wait. Okay, still the same issue. So the next thing we're gonna do is this. What you wanna do is go into your Bluetooth settings. So go into your settings, and then we're gonna go tap on Bluetooth here. And now we're gonna find your Fitbit that you're trying to connect to, and it should say connected, okay? My Inspire 2 says connected. I'm gonna go ahead and forget this, forget this device. Let's go ahead and forget it. And now let's go ahead and open up the, oops, let's go back to the Fitbit app here. And then, wow. What do you know? As soon as I forgot the device, in, uh, or I forgot that device in the Bluetooth, now I'm able to proceed, okay? Now, if you didn't get this uh, number right away when you took the, uh, forget the uh, device on the Bluetooth, then after you forget it, then do the same thing. Click on the avatar, set up the device, and then go through the procedure, and then it should move you to this here, okay? Anyway, I'm finally up here. I, I almost forgot, if this, if, if this step didn't work right here, the last step would have been to uninstall the app, the Fitbit app, and then reinstall it again, and then log in, and then see if you're able to, um, to connect and pair and whatnot. Anyway, good luck.